Hey everybody, today in this video we are gonna be talking about a few gifts that you should be getting those mothers in your life for Mother's Day. Stay with me. Mother's Day is coming up. I am here to solve all of your gifting problems. Hey everybody, my name is Patrick Murphy. I am a husband, I'm a dad, I'm a worship pastor. I love to talk about gear, I love to review gear, and I love sharing my life with you. And in this video, we are going to focus in on that husband role that I have. We are gonna be talking about some gifts that I am excited to look into that I've either purchased for or I'm looking to purchase for the mother in my life. The lady that I'm about to celebrate 16 years of marriage with. And instead of just keeping all these ideas to myself, I wanted to share them with you. So if you're looking for that last minute gift or just a gift in general that you can give to a mother in your life, this is the video for you. So let's just get started right away and I'm gonna move over to my computer here so you can see what I am looking at. And we're gonna be staying with Amazon today. So when I open up my web browser, the first thing we talk about when it comes to holidays is a card. If you go to somebody's housewarming, you get them a card. If someone has some sort of tragedy happen in their life, you get them a card. If someone has a birthday or Mother's Day or Father's Day or all sorts of days, you get them a card. And instead of getting one of those regular cards that you've seen at Walgreens or, or Dwayne Reed or wherever, uh, this card is going to be a little bit more snappy. It's really going to catch the eye a bit more. It's a Love Pop Mother's Day Flowers pop-up card. And you'll see there's all sorts of options here. There's the mom option and there's the like the mom uh, superhero option. And they're all right around 13, 15 bucks or so depending on tax or, or where you live. But this is one of those things that's just going to take that card up to the next level. And instead of being 30, 40, 50 bucks, some big arrangement, it's a $13 purchase that that mother in your life is going to love. And then you can also look at these uh, these cards for other holidays, like Father's Day and birthdays and things like that. So right out of the gate, they open that card and they are filled with so much joy because you have purchased them a pop-up 3D card. Now, the next thing we're gonna look at is just a little bit more sentimental. We've gone with the generic card. Everybody gets a card on a holiday, but we've taken that up a notch. Now we're going to get into something that's just a little bit more sentimental. And this is something that I actually purchased for my wife one Mother's Day. It's the Knock Knock, What I Love About My Mom, Fill in the Love Book. Now, this company makes all these books for different holidays, and you can look through here that and, and, and see, it actually doesn't show this, but these books are actually tiny. Obviously, you see the measurements there, but sometimes we forget to look at the measurements and just think that we're looking at this picture of a huge book. But inside this book, you have all of these different pages that kids or loved ones can fill out for this mom or friend or whoever in your life. You see page 22 here. If you were a scent, you would be... And what's really great about this is that when especially kids fill this out, sometimes they write skunk or zebra or uh, Alfredo sauce or, or whatever they love uh, about the earth and their mom and all that kind of thing. And then as kids get older, they start to think of a little bit more sentimental answers. We see uh, page 46 here. I always want to hear about... I always want to hear what you're going to say about my life, my baseball team, um, your past, you know, whatever the case. So if you're looking for a little bit more of a sentimental gift that you can get really quickly for 10 bucks, these little books are gonna do the trick for you. I bought one for my wife and I know for a fact she keeps it right in her nightstand every single night. So now we're gonna move away from some of this sentimental stuff and we're going to get into some more practical gifts. And with more practical gifts, you know, and, and beyond like pop-up cards and little books, our cost is gonna go up a little bit, but we're still pretty moderately priced. Now this is something that I recently bought for my wife and she loves it. It's the Royal Craftwood Luxury Bath Caddy. Now this is a tray and you can see right here that you essentially take and put right inside of a bath you draw a warm bath, you lean back, and you've got your book in front of you. You've got a candle, you've got a, you know, a glass of Chardonnay or whatever the case is. For my wife, it's rosé a lot of the times. And a lot of times she'll watch, you know, um, a TV show in the bath and just chill out with her iPad because it's some of her only alone time. So if you're looking for a sentimental but also really practical gift that you can share with a loved one to say, hey mom, you deserve a bath, but really relax in there and take your time. 
this is the gift for you. And coming in right at 45 or 50 bucks, it's pretty reasonably priced. And then you'll also see that there's a checkbox here that says save an extra. Uh, there's a check, where am I? Oh, there I am. You'll also see that there's a checkbox here that says save an extra 15% when you apply this coupon. I love that Amazon is doing this. They're starting to add these coupons that you can clip onto these different purchases that you're making. So this little bath caddy, it's been a huge win in our house and your mom is gonna love it. Now, moving forward here, staying in the home and the relaxation path, and moving on from 50 bucks to $140, we see this really well-reviewed foot massager. This uh, foot massager has deep kneading, it has multi-level settings, it delivers relief for tired muscles, and oh, plantar fasciitis, something that I've actually struggled with, which is terrible and I wouldn't wish on anybody, and it also heats while it's massaging the person's foot or the person's feet, both feet, same time, great. So when you actually get one of these items, a lot of times people think that they need to store it and put it away. We actually keep one right under my wife's uh, desk that she remotely teaches from right over there. So when she's working and she just needs something relaxing to kind of push her through that next class, she just slips her feet right inside of that foot massager and goes off. Now, I'm gonna be honest though, this is actually a gift she bought for me, but she's been using it more and more because it lives right underneath that deck. So, so if you're looking for something that's going to be really practical, but also like a homey relaxation tool for the mom in your life, this is the way to go. Now moving on, we've gone from, you know, a few dollars up to about 50 bucks, about up to about 150 bucks, which by the way, this also has a save an extra 30 bucks when you clip that coupon. So make sure you're paying attention to those check marks. Moving right up, staying in that comfy, cozy environment, we have a bathroom. $20 super well reviewed. It has over 16,000 reviews. That is, it's four and a half stars. Um, it's also got a ton of questions answered here that you can move through. Um, but a $20 bathrobe that comes in a bunch of different colors and it's super plush, super big. So if I were you and you're thinking, you know, for a holiday I can spend about 150, 200 bucks, skip the card, get the bath caddy, get the bathrobe. So right there, you're in about 60, 70 bucks. And then maybe go for that $200 price point and pick up the foot massager as well. You get them in the bath, they're comfortable. You get them out of the bath, they're in the robe, they're comfortable. You get them sitting down watching their favorite TV show with that foot massager, Wah! you have one Mother's Day. You win, you're great, everything is golden. So stick with this bathrobe for another really easy purchase that's just going to get you right into that place where you're showing love, but also not breaking the bank. All right, now moving on here, we're gonna get into some tech. Okay, now early on in my wife and I's relationship, I used to always buy the latest iPhone, the latest iPad, the latest iPod, remember iPods? Uh, and eventually she looked at me and she said, honey, I would like some things that are a little bit more like my style, not just cool tech that you like, which, which she loved. She loved the cool tech that I would buy her, but she also wanted something a little bit more sentimental. Now we've done the sentimental stuff already. Now it's time to talk about some tech. Now I cannot remember, uh, uh, the uh, amount of times my wife has said, where's my wallet, where's my phone, where's my keys, where's this, where's that. She's not a fool, she's got a lot of stuff going on in her life, and air tags would help her a ton. I just bought a four pack of these air tags, and I'm going to link to the video uh, review I just did of air tags. Is it done yet? No, it's not done. Ooh, be on the lookout for my air tag video. Almost made a boo boo there. But these air tags are a great gift for someone that you can put in a kid's backpack, you can put in a wallet that gets often lost, or a purse, or another bag, or something, attach it to something that's really important. And these guys, I've been really impressed with the way they work. Fun little gadget that's not too expensive, that's really cute, that you can give that mother in your life and say, here you go, you're never gonna lose anything again. If you have more questions about how the air tags work, essentially it's this little geo device that the find my app on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac can track wherever these air tags are. So you drop them in important items and you never lose those items. I need that in my life. Moms need that in their life. Kids need that in their life. Great tool, great little piece of tech, great little nerd gift you can give the mom. Moving on. Now this is going to be one of the biggest items we talk about today. And I know you're thinking, 
How dare you suggest I buy my mom, my wife, a vacuum for Mother's Day? Stay with me. Now, this isn't just a vacuum that someone is pushing around the house. The reason why I love these little robotic vacuums is that they work even when you're not in the house. A lot of times, before my wife comes home, maybe I'm not even home. I'll just use my phone to turn on my vacuum, which is right over there. It does a quick vacuum of the house, a quick mop of the house, so that when she comes home, it's crispy and clean and there's not crumbs all over the ground, especially after we have like a fun movie night or something like that. It's just one of those things that makes your apartment or your home look a little bit more fresh, super easy to set up, super easy to use, and these robot vacuums are getting more and more powerful. Now, I've listed one here that is obviously pretty expensive. You can see it usually goes there for about $750 and this one's just $700. Trust me, get one that's a little bit more expensive, you're gonna be happy with the result. And then, whenever you want things cleaned up in your house, you can just say, start my vacuum. You hear him going? Yes, we named our vacuum Carl Murphy. So whenever I'm in the house and I want things just to look a little bit better for my family, I just say, start up that vacuum. Whenever my wife wants things to look a little bit better in our house, she starts up the vacuum. If we're coming home, this is what I love, if we're coming home from a long trip and I'm thinking, I'm sure there's dust all over our apartment that's settled that I just want sucked up and off the floor, even from the car, I can start the vacuum. So this is one of those pieces of tech that's also really practical. And I know buying your wife or buying your mom a vacuum for Mother's Day, kind of a scary proposal. But in this case, you cannot lose. And then moving on, finally, wireless earbuds. Now, a lot of times people go out there and wireless earbuds are becoming more and more popular with AirPods and things like that and you'll see uh, mommies pushing strollers and you'll see daddies on a run and you'll see all these things and very few people um, want these big headphones on their ears or want to use the Apple headphones that come with their devices because they're terrible. I said it. So a lot of people want to go out and buy these truly wireless headphones and the AirPods are so great but they're so expensive. So I went on a little bit of a hunt to find my wife some truly wireless headphones that just make uh, her music sound great and, and she loves listening to podcasts that she can just pop in anytime. And we went through some of those brands that were 30 or 40 bucks and to be honest, they just, they didn't sound good. They struggled with pairing. Um, they, they, they broke easily. And I finally came across these Sennheisers and she fell in love with them. They do not lose connection, they have a very uh, long battery life, and they sound great. So if you're looking for just a quick uh, stocking stuffer for someone you love, or if you're looking for a quick, easy gift for the mom in your life where she's gonna be able to listen to her podcast, her music, her audiobooks at ease by simply just pulling out headphones and throwing them right in her ears and not have to worrying about a bunch of cables, this is the way to go for you. So wireless headphones, last little bit of tech that I am going to share with you. Now, come in close. The last thing I'm going to share with you cannot be found on Amazon. If you would like to gift a mom that's in your life, your significant other, your wife, your partner, uh, the person who raised you, if you would like to give them a gift, that costs you almost nothing, but means everything, give them time. Give them time with you. Or better yet, give them time to their self. Now this isn't necessarily free, but one thing I started doing for holidays that were significant to my wife once or maybe twice a year is say, honey, go to a hotel. Spend a couple nights in a hotel by yourself. Go out and have lunch where you'd love to have lunch. Go out and shop. Go out and do some things without having to worry the kid about the kids. I've got them. Now, let me be clear. There are personality types out there that, that want nothing more than to spend time with you. And my wife loves spending time with me. She loves spending time with our boys. But there are those moments where I'm just like, honey, you need a break. So, so often, giving the mom in your life just some time to their self is one of the 
easiest things you can do that gives you the most reward for them. And it doesn't have to be a hotel for a couple of nights. Just say, hey, honey, happy Mother's Day. I'm taking the kids down to the park. Hey, honey, happy Mother's Day. Get out of the house. Go hang out with your girlfriends. Go shop, go on a shopping trip. I'm gonna stay home with the kids and just play with them until they fall asleep and you don't have to worry about a single thing. Just time is sometimes all anybody needs. So if you're looking at some of those Amazon links and you're thinking, man, I don't wanna spend all that money or man, none of that stuff really works for the, the, the mom in my life, just give them some time. Some time with you or some time to their self. Those are my Mom's Day gifts. All the links will be down in the description. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Happy Mother's Day.